yeah hello all yes. welcome back mm -hmm. so uh i hope uh, you already have gone through the previous session yes. so as we are covering delivery scheduling in which mm -hmm. what are the parameters we have to consider for the delivery scheduling those are exactly. covered in the previous mm -hmm. topic right mm -hmm. those are covered in the previous session May you know what exactly the company, uh, what exactly the parameters which are considered for delivery scheduling? Pick up time, loading time, replacement uh, lead time, transportation lead time, transit time. Yes. Pick back time. Loading time. Okay. And loading time. Or uh, RLT. Replacement okay. lead time. Replacement lead time. Time. Mm. Then transportation, transportation lead time. Okay, transportation lead time and transit time. Yes, and transit time. So here, where we maintain the pick pack time? In pick pack time, we maintain point, right? shipping point. Yes, mm. and loading time. Loading time, we maintain in shipping point. Yeah, this is also we will maintain in shipping point. Mm. And a replenishment lead time? In material master. Material master. MRP mm. 3 view. Mm. And uh, what about this uh, transportation lead time? In route. We will, ma we will maintain it in route. Mm. And transit time? Transit time also maintained in route. In the route, right? No. Oh. Okay. So now, uh, let me go through them again. Pick pack time is nothing but the time taken to pick the material from the storage location as well as to pack it. And mm -hmm. loading time means the time taken to load the material into the, what is that? Vehicles, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Either trucks or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. So replacement lead time is nothing but if the stock of the material yes. is not available, then yes. the time taken to manufacture as well as finish the product. Yes. And a transportation lead time means which is the time yes. taken to taken. arrange the vehicle. Okay. Here, whatever here it may be uh, what is this trucks or it may be whatever it may be based on the mode mm. of transport mm. okay and a transit time means this is the time taken to deliver the goods from plant to customer mm. okay okay so now let us see where exactly we can maintain the time mm. so here the first one is pick pack time right so okay. as we mentioned that we can maintain the pick pack time in shipping point. Oh. So now let me go through the shipping point and I will show you where exactly we can maintain that. So mm. now let me go through SPRO and here SAP reference IMG. Then we have to mm. go through definition. Mm. So now tell me where exactly we can find the shipping point. I think in large city execution. Yes, in yearly. Okay. And here mm -hmm. we have to go through define, copy, dip, delete, and check shipping point. So mm -hmm. here we have to go through define shipping point. And now we have to check what exactly is the shipping point which is coming in our sales order. So here mm -hmm. in our case, it is B100. So this is what is our shipping point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, before that, let me confirm once by creating one sales order. Okay. So now, let me give one material. Mm -hmm. So here, if we go, where exactly we can find the shipping point? Here in the sales order. In mm -hmm. which tab we can find that? In shipping tab, right? Okay. So here, Plant is B100 as well as shipping point also B100. Mm -hmm. So now 
we have to go through our shipping point. So now let me go through SPRO and here it's a pay reference IMG in capital structure and a definition here logistic execution and here we have to go through our shipping point. So that is nothing but B100. Okay. See here we can find determine times, right? Mm -hmm. So, where we can determine the times for loading as well as pick back. Okay. 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 So, mm -hmm. here this is what is the loading time and the second one is the pick back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, now, okay. how can we maintain the time here? Okay. So, for example, in our case, if the loading time is two days okay. and if the pick pack time is three days yes. so what it means is if the material is available for example yes. uh, let us consider our material as vaccine 150 mm -hmm. okay okay so if the material is available now means if the stock of the material is available. If the stock of the material is not available, then the system will consider what is that? Which time? Uh, RLT, right? Okay. If the stock of the material is not, is not available, then the system will consider replenishment this time. Mm -hmm. But in our in our case, let us assume that the stock of the material is available. Okay? Okay. So now the system will consider only pick pack time as well as loading time. So here RLT will not come into the picture. So now we are sure how can we maintain the time in shipping point. Right? Okay. So now I will explain you what is the process of mm. delivery schedule. Okay. Okay. Process or working of the delivery schedule. Mm. So here, process of delivery schedule. Yes. So actually, we have yes. two processes in delivery schedule. Okay. Those are nothing but forward scheduling as well as backward scheduling. Yes. So what are them? The first one is backward scheduling. Yes. And the second one here is forward, forward schedule. Mm -hmm. So now we have to know what exactly the backward scheduling is mm -hmm. and what exactly the forward scheduling is. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. See, now let me take a small example here. So, for example, if we take the material as X, so this is what is the material, okay? And let us assume that the stock of this material is 100, which is available in the system now. So, if the stock is not available, then the system will consider our RLT, okay? Okay. So, here the stock is available. Yes. And the sales order was created. 
for the same material for 100 quantity mm. okay and here okay. the customer requested delivery date mm. where can we find this in the sales order right yes customer requested delivery date mm. and for which we can see that either we can give the customer requested delivery date manually or else mm -hmm. we can check a control in sales document type control to propose the requested mm -hmm. delivery date automatically okay okay so i will show you there see here for example the customer requested delivery date is mm -hmm. uh, what is the current date today's date 25 20? 25 25th, right? Okay. So, if the customer requested delivery date is, for example, 25th. Mm -hmm. 25th, and the month is? October 10th. 10th, and it is 2025. Okay? Okay. And see, here, pick pack time is? Mm -hmm. How many, how many days? Pick back time is two, uh, three days. Three days. And loading time is? Two days. Two days. Okay. And mm. let us assume that RLT is, for example, 10 days. Mm. But in this case, RLT will not consider because the stock is already available. So I think you are clear with it. Okay. Yeah, and if you have any queries in this regard, you can ask me. Okay. Okay. Okay then. Thank okay. you. Bye. Okay.